Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I am bringing you another part to my Kingdom of Sweden campaign for the 1078 Medieval Wars campaign mod. Uh, I believe I said that this was part 12 in the last episode, but this one is actually part 12. I missed one of the names when I was... Or, sorry, I missed one of the numbers when I was naming them all, so I actually skipped an episode. So this is actually part 12. And the last one that I said was part 12 was part 11, if I am not mistaken. So this is part 12. For those of you guys that uh, mentioned that, thank you very much. The thumbnails with the numbers are definitely going to help me keep track of which episodes are which at this point moving forward. So uh, it is winter time, and this is the perfect time for the Swedish because we don't take any attrition when we move through other territories. So we do have uh, an army here from Hungary, but it is very depleted. We've got some Polish over here as well. I'm going to still see if Poland can come over here and give me some aid with this city. Let's just uh, do it by attitude. I think Poland is my most friendly ally. Yeah, so come over here, please. And then with this army over here... If I can select it. Oh, good. So they're completely upgraded. So we could afford some public order issues. So I'm going to start to move over towards Iglau to take out this settlement. And we're sieging Dresden as well, which is excellent. And then this is the cutoff of the map. So uh, basically my plan is to just, just push down on the right-hand side into Hungarian territory. Just push all the way down. Then we're going to kind of swoop up around the left side. And at this point, when Hungary is destroyed, we're going to declare war on Serbia and sweep all of these territories from them and take out Venice. And then we're going to push towards the Holy Roman Empire. Now, I am going to give all of my subscribers options for campaigns moving forwards. If I see that people are getting too disinterested in them, uh, I will discontinue the campaign, but we're getting about 60 to 70 views uh, per episode, which is pretty good. But if people lose interest in the next 5 or 10 episodes or so, then I'll probably just destroy the last city of the Holy Roman Empire, and then we'll just end it there. But if you guys want me to continue forwards to the Grand Campaign Victory Objectives, I'm more than happy to as well. And I'll be doing that in my High Elf campaign as well. So if I see that, you know, it's... If I see that nobody really cares about it at that point, I'll just, you know, maybe hit the second ritual and then we'll just, just call it done there. But yeah, enough talk here. So let's see. We're, I think we're still sieging Scotland over here. Yeah, and they got a pretty substantial force. Uh, I guess it's not too crazy, but we did see in the last uh, two episodes trying to take on Scone uh, that we lost a lot of troops in that endeavor and they also have their king here with a couple of uh, at gear herdmen as well so i definitely want to give it probably one or two turns of attrition because i want i don't want to lose too many troops i want to uh, turn right around and declare war on norway and then take the provincial capital here and then that'll be all of scotland controlled by sweden which is excellent um, I could probably move this force out of here now that we're pretty much completely... Don't need to convert it to a city or anything. And I think we're still repairing our walls. 96%, so uh, we could probably sail out at this point, I think. And come around to the other side. If we get any... We're going to get some rebellions, but, you know, that's just... That there's nothing we can do about that. We do have a problem with sanitation, though. So I'm going to have to take care of that. I'll probably see if I can put maybe a well in here or something. Yeah, we're getting squalor from the goldsmith. But that's okay. Yeah, I'll see if I can pop a well in here. It could be these other two buildings that are held by the reg or the Earl of York. Uh, you could have a lot of indus industry buildings in here as well. And because this is all one province, his industry buildings uh, may actually affect my 
sanitation, although we can actually see his sanitation, and they're very clean. So, nope, it's just my fault that uh, we're having some issues there. But, yeah, I think one or two more turns, and then we will move in there. And how much money do I have? 1600 So we can see if we can upgrade anywhere else. I don't really think we can. We've got this general here at Haldstadt. Got this uh, army moving towards Burraburg, but yeah, we got a ton of archers, just really no infantry, but I think that we should be able to soften up this pike army reasonably well. And I would love to get military access with France so that I can take out their last settlement over there, but France just wants nothing to do with me. It's because I know why. It's because I'm trading with a lot of their enemies is all, but we still have a non-aggression, which is good. See if we can get Oh. I don't want to give them all my money. Let's try 900. Really? All right, I'll, I'll give you all my money and see if you'll take that. Still no, really. Defensive alliance. Military access. With trade agreement. No, that's low. Oh, France, France, France. The Swiss are at war with Lithuania. Otherwise, I would try to trade with them. I'm sorry, Norway. I know you're so friendly towards me, but I'm just going to have to take you out, unfortunately. Toulouse hates me now for some reason. The Byzantine Empire. They're at war with Firenze, so I'll just leave that for now. Uh, we got some unassigned stills here. Government, so let's get that. And some influence. And another governor here. So, yeah, let's get the tax and the construction rate. Almost 10k per turn. Doing real well. For my campaign lover loving subscribers, I'm hoping this week has uh, been very well for you. I I'm getting a lot of good campaign episodes out on my channel. I've just got to find a good balance because I do want to still mainly be a battles uh, YouTuber. Because uh, I know there's there's Lion Lionheart does all campaigns and Pixelated Apollo does like all or most 98% battle. But I kind of want to have like I'd say 70% battle and 30% campaign content. So like a nice even mix between the, the two big YouTubers. So that is my goal. Uh, mentioning as well, I know that a lot of you guys are playing, so uh, if you guys have any really awesome battles that you'd like me to cover, that's going to help me get more battles out because it takes a lot of time for me to have to play a battle and then record the battle and then upload it. But if you guys can email me battle replays, especially sieges, uh, I don't have to play it, so I save a lot of time. I can just record it and then get it out to you guys. So... Uh, that would really help if you guys do want to see more battle content. Oh, they're... Uh, they're going way behind enemy lines. Kingdom of Munster. That will be my next target after Scotland. I kind of want to leave England for last, but I think as soon as I start to attack England, I'm going to build two full-stack armies and then push uh, push down south with both of them, and one will go down the uh, east coast and one will go down the west coast kind of to take care of Wales. But at that point, once I declare war on England, we're probably going to see a little bit of a uh, income drop because we'll lose the trade with them but then i hope that that will make france that much happier with us and then we'll get an extra 500 for the trade with france because i think mainly just the reason that they don't want to do anything with me is because they hate castile and they hate england and i'm trading with both of them so 
if we do end up going the whole way through with this campaign, I think that I will be leaving France for last. I think I talked about this in the last episode. And the Siege of Paris will be the last battle. Hopefully. Blah, 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 blah. Got a lot of things here. Trade agreement with Naples is dissolved. Well, that's fine. Why is that, though? Are they getting destroyed, or...? Oh, yeah, they just can't trade with me anymore, unfortunately. And I don't think I have a... Naples, Naples, here you are. Region zero. Oh, yes, they don't have any more territories, actually. But they aren't friends with anybody else, so what I'm going to do is actually see if the Byzantine Empire Welcome, will trade with me. Guest. I trust you bring words that will enhance the honor of your people in our eye. Low. Hi. Nice. And let's see if we can get a trade agreement with them. Low. Really. What if I give you all your money back? Nice. So that should help. Help the old income there. And you, sir, are still sailing back. You're getting there, though. Oh, man, this poor general. All right, so did they take any attrition this turn? To their hovels. No, it'll be next turn that they'll take attrition. So we'll probably, if, if it goes down to half, we'll probably attack them at that point, I think. Because we're still pretty healthy. We've got a mortar and a catapult as well. Just have to watch their archers, basically. But yeah, we'll give that uh, one more turn. Let's jump back over to Hungary. Still not going to help me, eh, Poland? Can upgrade at Praha. What's the chances here? Yeah, this is a really solid army. We're going to have to give a couple of turns to attrition them down. So we'll continue the siege there. Oh, but you actually... Oh, you're, yeah, your integrity is super low. Hmm. Is there anything to give you more integrity? Minus five. Anything for integrity here? Probably not. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, well. I hope that they don't revolt against this guy. That would really suck. This is a pretty elite army. But, yeah, let's move over and... Oh, shoot. No, I'm in Force March. Oh, that's so annoying. Why did that happen? Bulgarian Axeman, 1800. Seriously. That's crazy. Okay, well... We cannot do that. Okay, whatever. Just chill there, then. Yeah, I can't attack there, though, unfortunately. I'm going to have to just keep an eye on his integrity. Got that Hungarian army here. Not too worried about it. We've got another force building up here. I guess just to keep my eye on France. I should really actually look at possibly building up another army here. I've got a merchant general.
Mm, I kind of want a better general than a merchant, though. How's this looking here? Anybody else need to go in? You, sir. You're a governor. Can pop into judge there. You are a governor. General. Go ahead into Warlord, sir. Well, and that's really all we can fit in there anyways. Good, good, good. Governor. Ooh. Ooh, you're having some troubles over here with loyalty, my friend. Spurned. Irresolute. All right, I'll give you some cunning here and more tax. Decimate those sails of doom again, my friend. Hopefully we won't have... But we got some good food surplus as well. Yeah, we're sending our king around the aisle. Uh, he will be put into a good position to block some forces. Or block some ports, I should say. I did notice a very large decrease in my food there for some reason, though. So I'll have to check out why that was. Thank you, Brabant. Or Flanders, I should say. So we can see the Byzantine Empire's forces now, which is good. Kind of keeping tabs on them. Scotland's thinking about something. I don't know what they're thinking about. You can't really do anything. Lorraine, what are you doing? Just walking around. Oh, Lithuania might be actually going to destroy that army. from the Duchy of Saxony, I think, or Lorraine, sorry. Oh, these end turns take so long. The Saracens are going to be tough to crack there on that island, if we even ever get to it. But they've got, like, three full-stack armies. There goes Poland, excellent, destroying them. Yes, my food went way down to 98 there. Um, so I saw we had some civil war going on. What happened over here? Thirsty for battle. Why did we just lose our city like that? Let them cower before us. 
I don't know what happened there. Ready for battle. Like, why did we lose that settlement? We had a perfect garrison in there. Well, that's annoying. Oh, well, they're going to die anyways, the raiders of the new coast. Give me a break. Warriors old. You've upgraded. you got some traditions here. Give you some morale and charge bonus. All right. Did we lose any other settlements anywhere? I don't think so. Yeah, civil war. There is. This is no ordinary rebellion. Separatists within this province have mobilized to utterly overthrow your rule. What a joke. Poland at war. Well, that's going to stall the Bavarians even, even longer. But look at that. That's why my food went down and then back up. That's crazy. I lost 60 food from just that one settlement. I don't know how that's possible, but... We take the settlement for the tribe. Oh yeah, they're they're really taking a lot of attrition now. I'm kind of tempted to fight this, but I really want to have a pretty healthy force at the end. Now, you know what? Let's let's try and end it now. Let's try and get rid of the fog here. There we go. A nice dry day. Oh, this is a good settlement for defending, too. I'm just kind of banking on the fact that they'll charge out against us. And they should... Oh, yeah. They've got a really decent amount of uh, debuffs here. So we're going to stay back. Kind of out of range of that tower. And we got our at gear bondier here now for our front line. And I'm going to have uh, four units of herdmen over here. What's this? What's this tower's range again? Not even close. I don't know what we are going to be in range of then. Yeah, we'll have the general over here on this road as well. And basically all the cavalry can be... Where do I want the cav? It's right here for now. And then we'll take three units of herdmen and we're going to put them in these trees. Because I'd expect that the ships might come off right there. Yeah, and then let's get the mortar right here and the catapult right next to it. Onto explosive round. And let's begin. Oh, good. So the ships are actually over there. Let's uh, get my cavalry into the trees here as well to try to hide them. Oh, big hits there with the mortar. The enemy has been spotted. Cavalry is charging out as well. Let's actually uh, redeploy these herdmen so they don't get charged. Shield screen with them. Yeah, mortar, uh, keep up the fire there.
Crossbows, pull. Actually, we don't have to pull back. They're just sitting back, which is good. Yeah, they're starting to waver. Excellent. Also, not on skirmish mode, so that's perfect. I'm just going to let my crossbows kind of just fire as is right now. My elite army of Swedish. Looks like we got some horses moving in there, but I'm not even worried about it. I am worried about these crossbows, though. They're going to get charged for sure. Move back, move back. Oh, right into my crossbows there, but actually charging right into my Atgear Bond deer. That should be a good battle for us. Keep firing on them. Cav, let's try and sneak you guys into the city here. Yeah, my Akir Bondir is like not even touched. Let's break you out of shield screen, kind of pull you across like this. Actually, no, not into range of the tower. Let's break you guys out of shield screen. you across like this with the general crossbows continue to fire on these spears oh man you can just see all of the arrows coming in against these uh these troops oh they do have a ranged unit a ranged uh pila though that they can throw before they move in against the uh, at gear bond here. Gotta watch that friendly fire though. Yeah, my cavalry is inside the city, so let's get them over here to take out some of these units. Alright, you can go ahead and charge there then. Oh, nice hits with the artillery and then the cavalry is going to come in and finish the job here. Just forcing them out of the city into the open. Nice charges by my elite Swedish shock cavalry. Yeah, they were just forced right out of the city. Let's actually uh, turn off fire at will here. We don't need them to fire any longer. Cavalry charge into the last of these skirmishers. Oh, very nice. This was a decisive battle for the Swedish. Oh, go back against them, please. You guys just continue to fire. You guys stop. Stop. Where's my other unit of crossbows? There you are. Yep, that's that's completely wrapped them up. Let's just go ahead and charge in here. Turn off my archers. Come on, cavalry. They'll charge into this breaking unit here, and then can you just turn on them? Attack. Attack, my brave Swedish knights. 
And this will secure victory, and this is the end of the Scots. So for any of my Scottish subscribers, I am sorry, but your faction has been destroyed. And that's... Oh my goodness! What the heck? Oh, you sneaky Scots. <laughs> Cavalry, get over here, quick. At Gear Bondir, get over here. Artillery. Archers. Wow, the Scottish pulled off a little sneaky... Sneaky side attack there. Very interesting. They're actually destroying my uh, my herdmen over here. Granted, they were already depleted, but still. There we go. Archers fire into this unit. I want to see this. All of these crossbow bolts. Yes, just wiping out this unit. Perfect. Oh, that's already broken them, actually. Excellent. Knights, come over here, please. These knights just decided to charge right in. I'm gonna surround these Scots here. Charge in there, please. Oh, perfect. Just surrounding the enemy completely. You guys can stop firing again. There we go. I totally forgot about that fleet. Well done by Scotland. Really well with my cav. Catapult getting a top tree is just for holding, and I just clean up with my crossbows and my cavalry. We lost 235, which isn't bad. Faction destroyed Kingdom of Naples over here. I didn't notice that, but Scotland will also be destroyed. I could subjugate them, actually. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to occupy that. And that should be Scotland destroyed there. Should be. There it is. Faction destroyed. Uh, I actually may subjugate England. That might not be a bad idea. But we've actually got the Norwegians over here as well. The Long Blades. Uh, we can upgrade this entire army as well. Which will be huge, giving them some extra armor upgrades. General is upgraded as well. Could give some more melee attack. We'll give more armor for the commander's unit there. Give him some authority and some zeal. And, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, here I go. I can get a strategist. Plus one cunning. So we'll raise him. Warriors Put him in there. And then, yeah, see, all of our units are now going to be upgraded as well. It's a good life. Are you ready Five, six. To your duty to one, the two, three. Uh, one, we two, three, four. Fighters. Actually, let's get... Uh, Three, four, five of them will get. Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Three Huskarls. 
And we got five herdmen. Are you ready to do your duty Four of to them. The we need good fighters. To catapult. So that'll be another 20 stack there. Ready to go. And Norway is next. Gonna have to move an army up there to attack him. Let's bring my general all the way around here. Kind of take a look at what uh, Munster has. Because I think I'm going to move into Ireland next. And then once I take Ireland and Norway, we'll be moving down into English territory. So pretty soon we're going to be in battle against the English. Civil War. So that really affected our public order. Let's get you guys some integrity here. Plus five per turn. Oh, your integrity is just terrible. Eight turns, there'll be a mutiny. But in two turns, we should be able to move in against them. So I think I'm going to leave that there. And I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.